good afternoon, morning, whatever time of the day it is that you're viewing this. I'm Wasa Mayor Katie Rosenberg here with not Laura Scuderi from the Marathon County Health Department. I've got Aaron. How's it going? Yes, I'm uh, good to be here with you, Katie. I'm uh, Laura's understudy, as they call it. And uh, Laura's taking some much deserved time off. And so uh, I'm stepping You can in actually do that now. Here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> we can take some, us health department people can take some time off and you know, get oh out and enjoy this beautiful summer we're having. Yeah, congratulations. We've been through a lot. Yes, okay. indeed. indeed. We've got a ton of questions and we'll come back around to like, how do we uh, mark this? But my first question is kind of the serious one. Um, we're hearing about the variants and what we should be scared about or, or maybe not scared, but just kind of mindful of. So this Delta variant, talk to me about it. What should I be worried about? What should I know? Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of questions here at the health department about, about these COVID variants. And really the, the point is, is that our goal in public health is to stop the spread. And what we know about these new variants is that uh, they, they typically spread faster and more rapidly than, than the original strain of COVID. So it's our job as public health to track these variants. And so that's why you see like the Delta variant in the news is because the state of Wisconsin is now tracking that. Um, you know, they're tracking those cases throughout the state. Um, and so right now, I think as of yesterday, we had 36 cases of that strain. Um, and so it's just, I think it's one of five strains that the state is tracking. So it's just, it's our job again to, to stop, stop the spread. And we do that by tracking these variants um, and just to make sure they stay under control. Uh, the other reason why we like to talk about variants is that variants are mutations or changes that happen in a virus over time. So again, part of our job to stop the spread uh, will also help prevent future variants. So getting vaccinated um, is one of the most important steps that we can take to stop the spread and prevent these, these, uh, these variants. So it's sort of like a word of caution, like, hey, these variants are out there, but we know yeah. um, that things like getting vaccinated will help stop the spread and will help uh, prevent uh, the spread of these variants as well as the mutation of others. Okay, so if people, uh, this is leading right into my question too, so thank you. So people uh, can be you know, mindful that this mutation is happening, uh, but there's a solution and that is getting vaccinated. I know that um, the AMI clinic is changing a little bit with their hours, but maybe you could give me a little update on how that's going, what people should know, what they got to do to get there. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to put a quick plug out for the community vaccination clinic at North Central Technical College. So that will be sunsetting within the next three to four weeks. Um, what we wanna make people know is that you can still walk in the community vaccination clinic at North Central Technical College in the Center for Business and Industry and get your COVID vaccine. Um, they will be having reduced hours. So if you go to our mm -hmm. website, the Marathon County Health Department website, you can see where they're starting to reduce hours as they plan sure. to close the clinic. Um, but now the other, the other important thing, I don't know if it's been mentioned on this, on this show, but they do now have the J&J &J vaccine. So oh yeah, we're back. Yeah. So if you're if you're 18 and older, you're not vaccinated yet, you know, find that NTC clinic. You can walk in one and done, get your dose, you're fully vaccinated. Um they also, it's it's that easy, really. So if you're on the fence, if you haven't done it yet, you do have a few more weeks specifically at that NTC site to go do it. Um the other thing is they do have the Pfizer vaccine. So for um children ages 12 and up, um, that is available as well. So if you're a kid who's in well, you're going to be going to school next fall, hopefully, but in school, theater, extracurricular activities, sports, you know, now's the time to just go get vaccinated. Hang. You just want to hang with your friends. <laughs> Play a little time Pokemon to go. together. Pokemon Go, you know, whatever <laughs> kids do these days. We talked about that last time I was here, but, um, you know, you can go get that vaccine there and, uh, you know, be ready to go. You don't have to quarantine. You don't have to wear a mask once you're vaccinated. There's a lot oh of gosh. pros to, to just getting it done. I got to tell you, I, so I've not been wearing a mask because, you know, the CDC tells you that if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to, right. um, but there are still some businesses that I walk in and I'm like, oh, okay. And I have to actually dig it up now. So i feel like I'm still learning uh, how to interact yeah. <laughs> post vaccination, but I'm, I'm feeling kind of normal now. It does. <laughs> yeah. We, we, yeah. It, it does feel nice to be able to, to go places we used to enjoy and, and visit with people and, and, see our friends and family that we may have, you know, we haven't, we can see their faces like around the office at the health department. It's been great to just see people and talk to people again. So oh, it's, it's one awesome. of the benefits of okay. vaccination for sure. We're celebrating now. This is not really a question, 
well, we can make it into a question. Yay, we're all getting vaccinated. Uh, what percentage are we at? Uh, how many people have the vaccine? Where do we yeah. go from here? Yeah, I think, yeah, what I wanted to end on today was really to, to celebrate where we are. And Woo! right now we have almost 50, actually, I think I haven't looked at the numbers for today, but as of today, there'll probably be 56,000, 56,000 Marathon County residents that have completed the vaccine series. So that's, pretty, go Marathon County. that's pretty incredible. So over 50% of adults have actually completed the series here in Marathon County. And that, that's extraordinary. That's something we should certainly celebrate. If you would have told us public health people back in December that in June we would have 50% of adults vaccinated, we'd be like, where do we sign up? How do we do that? So yeah. the fact that we're here now and we've reached that goal, we've reached 50% is fantastic. There's still work to do. Um, you know, there's, there's still, uh, you know, we'd still like to get that number higher, but there is, there is a lot that we need to celebrate as a community with 56,000 of us uh, completing the vaccine series. Yay, that makes me so happy. So way to go Marathon County. If you have friends or neighbors or relatives, point them to the community clinic or wherever they'd like to go to get vaccinations, you can help us. I'm so excited. Yeah, good work. Too. And that's, that's a good point too, Katie, is that there's, there's still plenty of vaccine available. You can call your local healthcare provider. There's a number of pharmacies, the community uh, vaccination clinic, there's plenty of places to go get your vaccine. Concerts on the Square is a place you can get a vaccine nowadays. So Yeah, they were giving them away at Juneteenth. I mean, this yep. is great. It's good to yep. see everyone kind of getting involved and, and making this happen. Yeah, so so thanks everyone for for playing your part and if you're uh if you're ready and willing to get your vaccine, now's the time and and we certainly encourage you to do so. Yay. Okay. Well, I feel really great actually after this three things. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. I hope to join you again sometime, but I'm sure Laura will be <laughs> ready to get back in the driver's seat. <laughs> well, we're ready whenever you want to join us again. So I, I appreciate this. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. Take care.